Hi, I'm Dr. Jack Ringer, and I'm here at Keating Dental Arts today. I'm going to talk about shade taking. So when a lab is making a crown, shade does not just mean color, which I'm going to talk to you about in a minute, okay? What we have to have is a way that the laboratory knows exactly what that prep shade color is and the adjacent teeth, okay? So a lot of years ago, when things weren't as uh, business-like in dentistry, it wasn't a big production line type of thing as it is today, uh, a lot of dentists had the luxury of having a lab technician right there in their practice or maybe in the same building. You call the technician over and say, yeah, I'm doing tooth number eight here. Can you look at nine? And since you know how to build things it's, and I just prep teeth or whatever, uh, can you make your notes and you'll know what you have to do with your layering of your ceramics to give the same illusion as a tooth. So remember, when a ceramist makes a tooth that is going to look natural, he's trying to mimic a tooth, right? So the restoration is going to have layers, like a dentin layer and an enamel layer and some maybe incisal translucency, whatever. It's not just going to be one block of opaque color. person that makes restorations in this way, meaning the dentist and the lab, they separate themselves from the run-of-the-mill uh, factory production dental practice, which are just making opaque blocks of ceramic, okay? So, what are the dynamics of color firstly and shade taking? When we talk about color, it is comprised of three components. Okay, when we take a uh, shade. We first have, which is the most important thing when you take a shade, is what we call value, how light or dark that tooth is. All right? So when we take a shade, we first want to determine, using our shade guides, which I'll show you in a minute, um, the different value of the tooth. All right, find that value. Once we've established that, now we want to establish what we call chroma. Now chroma is refers to the amount of color in that tooth. So using an example, if you take a cup of water and put a drop of blood in it, it goes pinkish, certain color. If I put another drop of blood in, it's the exact same color, just more of it. Its chroma is higher, okay? So it's the same blood, just more of it. So we have value, which is light to dark. We have chroma, which is the intensity of the color. The third component is what we call hue, the color itself. Is it more yellow or is it more red or when we're talking about teeth. So nowadays when we take shades, we use shade guides that allow us to separate those three components to get an accurate shade. So before I show you shade guides and get into that aspect, um, let's talk about technique for taking shades. Keating Dental Arts.